Hey everyone! Today I'm going to open up these two Terminator action figures. I just recently saw the Terminator Genesis movie and it was awesome, so it made me want to open these up. Alright, so first of all we have this one that's more silver, and these are both made by NECA, the ones that I'm going to be opening. Here's the barcode and the information if you need it. And here is the back, it's a nice photograph. Uh, I've got some more info right there. Just says Terminator. All right, we're gonna open this one up with this uh, knife. Take it out. Cool uh, background. All right, let's also take a look at this box. It's kind of similar on the top. This one says Heavy Gunner on it. I think it's still a T800 though. I'm not sure. It looks like a T800. All right, here is the information and the barcode on the back gives you a little bit of stuff to read heavy gunner exoskeleton alrighty so let's get that one open too this one has two pieces of tape okay put that one there oh and this one has a cooler background it almost looks like a video game is this supposed to be on the game? Alright, so let's see. We got some twist ties on this one. Let's untwist those. Alright, got the twist ties undone, I think. Let's see, is this going to come out easily? Alright, so we have one Terminator, and he has. One gun. Alright, let's put that aside for a second. And then here is the heavy gunner. Alright, looks like he just has one twist tie. Holding him in. Put him down. Oh, this is cool. So, let's check them out. Okay, these are both, I'm guessing, the same mold. Uh, looks like it. Checking out all the details. Looks the same. Wait, this one has posable toes. Does this one? Yes, it does. Alright, so... Pretty sure they are the same. Same back. Same arms. Let's see. They both have little rubbery cords right there. Tubing. Alright, so let's see. This one. I like a lot because you know it's, it's silver and uh, the neck is that on a ball joint I can't really tell okay it, it you can kind of pose it up but it wants to go back down if you push it down it kind of wants to go back up it kind of stays to the side mostly all right, this feels a little bit loose. It's weird. This is open. Oh, that's for maybe maybe when you bend it down. Let's see. Does this have articulation right there? I'm not sure. There's another th thing over here. Oh, these open. Is it supposed to open? Well, they do. Oh, look, it's got words on it. Um, this one, huh, that's cool. They kind of hid their uh, trademarks and stuff. Alright, let's see. The elbows could go all the way around, but you don't want to because of this. You'll, it'll get tight and you'll rip it off. It does go up and down. 
It also turns right here. Got an extra like a bicep joint. Okay, the arms, I mean the uh, elbows have these little tubings that go in and out, the hydraulics. And let's see, it only goes this way, it doesn't swivel. We have a swivel right here. The hands are a little bit rubbery, so you don't have to worry about breaking the fingers accidentally. Okay, um, let's see. It does twist right here. So I guess that's what this opens for. So it, it doesn't get tight on here. Okay, so something just came out. If it comes out, you could just uh, put it right back in. Okay, see that's fixed. But it looks really cool when it twists like that because of the hydraulics. Okay, it goes, it doesn't really go up and down so much, but it turns a lot. Okay, uh, for the hip joints we have, this kind of seems like a ball joint right in there. And maybe a swivel too. And then it's got two hydraulics right here. And they go in and out right here. Oh, there's three. Alright, so that works like that. This one doesn't move. This is a solid piece. Okay, we have a knee joint. And let's see. I would think that swivels because it's nice and round, but it doesn't. So only up and down like that. The foot turns around. Does not have a rocker joint. Not really. It's not supposed to do that, I don't think. That's just loose. And then the toes bend. So that's good. You could put the knee back and pose the toes like that. Alright, and uh, I'm sure both arms are the same. Okay, and here is his gun. It's got nice paint on it, nice weathering, nice colors. It's breakable. <laughs> I'll glue that back on later. Sorry, I'm, I'm just testing this for you guys, you know. This part's more rubbery. I don't know if this was glued on separately or if it just broke, but I will glue that on later. It's, uh, this part's really soft and rubbery. See, so I don't know why this part had to break off. This part's like hard plastic. I think they glued on this hard plastic to there because this part's soft. The part that it was attached to. That's really weird. This part is not soft at all. It does not bend. So, super strange, but anyways. Alright, so let's put the gun in the hand. Alright, this hand is not really a gun hand, so if you put it and there, even if you put the finger right in the the trigger hole right there, it's really loose. It's not going to stay. But this hand is better. So if you just put that right in there, and you can put his finger in there right there. That is a little bit better. It's if you if you mess with it, it'll be a little bit sturdier. I think. If you put the middle finger in, it's even better. See, it's it's not moving now. It's um, it's good. So let's see. All right, so that's the regular T800 from NECA, and this is the heavy gunner. Let's see. He's got his head is um maybe it's the paint. Maybe the paint is on the ball joint here, but I think this is nicer. You can feel the squeaky tightness of the ball joint in there. Also, you can see that the bottom of the neck swivels. Not sure if it did that one on this one. Yeah, it does. Alright, so this has the same everything, I think. Well, it's not. This is just more stuck together because of the paint. These open, same thing. So same mold, same joints, I'm sure, everything. So totally the same posability, 
but the paint, I'm, I'm guessing it's kind of supposed to be like um, those all the new NES uh, video game characters, or, or they have like a kind of a simple paint job to match the colors of the old Nintendo games, or not. I don't know. I'm I'm not exactly sure what this is supposed to be besides a gunner Terminator, but it looks really cool. Let's check out the gun. All right, so. We have this pack. He has two holes in the back, so I'm not sure which way this goes. Let's see. Alright, so I think this part goes down. Wait, it goes like that. Okay, and then this is very nice and rubbery. I think it's almost stretchy. It's super soft. And here is the gun. Sorry, the Terminator is like spinning around down there. Looks like a Gatling gun. Which is awesome. Let's see, it's got some tanks and stuff on it. Some tubing. Interesting colors right here. Okay, um, okay, how about the stand? The stand, it comes in two different pieces. This piece goes in this hole right here. And now it's quite sturdy. This is breakable plastic, so be careful with this. This is not rubbery at all. This, If you just push it the wrong way, it's going to break and crack. And these will crack. But they made that out of that plastic, so it's uh, sturdy. So it won't fall over. Alright, so this is the stand. And you can put the gun... Let's see... Okay, I think he just rests the gun on the stand. Kind of maybe right in there. And then you have to actually hold it. So, let's put his hands on the gun. Okay, that hand fits. It's a little bit loose. Because his hand is so large and the handle is so small. But then you got his other hand over here. That's a very wide open hand also. Let's see, where does this hand go? This hand kind of goes... There's supposed to be like a little handle. Am I missing that? I don't think so. Um, not Oh, I don't know. But anyways, so after you've got it in his hand, you can just put it right on the stand. And let's lower that a little bit. Put his hand right there, I guess. All right, now let's see, I'll see if he'll stay up. All right, very good. All right, and it, just in case you wanted to see this one, this is uh, a McFarlane Terminator. It's basically the same. It looks almost like it's the same mold, but I'm not sure. Probably not. Okay, these actually have a hole that it plugs into. If I could just see what I'm doing, I can't. Um, yeah, it's a different mold. This, this has these extra... No, that one has... They both have it. You can tell it's just slightly different, though. But, of course, they look the, the same or similar because they're both T-800s, but th this part's definitely different. This part has a square part, and this part has a round part. And this one has a little bit more hydraulics, I think. But if you painted them the same, they'd probably look almost exactly the same. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed this look at the two Terminators from NECA. Uh, I think this one is a little bit older. I got this one last year in a haul video. And then this one I got recently, maybe a month ago, two months ago. So anyways, thanks for watching. Subscribe to see more videos. And see you later.